What's up? Oh no! Okay. First things first, turn your fucking mic volume down. At least I do. Um, don't turn it down that much. This is just because I have to hear myself. Can't handle it. It's fucking driving me insane. Um, so first things first, set A1 to MME, your main output device, like your headset. Set Hardware input 1 to your microphone, also on MME. One sec, gonna light a smoke because my brain's gonna fucking explode. Okay. On your uh, microphone, you can use this noise gate thing. It, uh, it makes it so that when you stop talking, there isn't a hiss. I'll turn it off for a sec. That's with me being like completely silent. And if you put a gate, my, my microphone, it works for about 2.3. I know you can read. Which is very useful in my opinion. Anyway, so you have five inputs and five outputs. One, two, three, four, five. These are all inputs inputs into the program not like anything else just picture this window is like its own device out of your computer okay so each of these channels can go to one of the five outputs the three a outputs are hardware which means speakers headphones etc the two B outputs are virtual, which means you can use them as a microphone in a game or TeamSpeak or whatever. So, as you can see, B1 is having this shit, this shit right here, sent to it. It also has this sent to it. <laughs> You can tell that's on the virtual auxiliary input. Here I have my Winamp set to go out to that output. You could set that as your default output, but I wouldn't suggest it. It could definitely cause problems. I feel like I'm going to experiment with it. Just forget I even said that. So, this shit goes out into uh, this motherfucker right here, which is actually this. So, like, my computer thinks it's playing to a device, but the device is actually just this channel in this program. So you can actually send any of these channels, like I said, to any of these outputs. And both of these are going to B1. They're also going to A1, which is my headphones. When I'm actually using this not to record a video, I have that shit off so that I don't have to hear myself. As you could tell, I was screaming. Anyway, um, so B1, this motherfucker, blah, 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 is this channel, right? That's why that's set to my default, uh, both of these motherfuckers. Man, it's hard to fucking talk and hear yourself like a millisecond later. Feels like I have Down syndrome. And my cigarette went out. 
Um, other things you can do. Uh, obviously, you can adjust the volume of anything and then double click it if you want to set it back to zero. You can also, if you right click here, there's three different panels. They're both like XY controllers. Uh, this one's the coolest. You can add effects to your voice. You could also probably do it to uh, anything else, but it's just weird and I don't know. Fun to fuck around with. When you're done messing around, double click, goes back to zero. Pretty much everything works like that in this program. It's pretty smooth. You can load a file into here. Apparently, mine stayed loaded. David, are you ready for pizza? Yeah, that's me fucking with David. Anyways, um, that should pretty much cover it. Like I said, disable A1 here on your mic or you'll go crazy. Uh, yeah, that pretty much sums it up. You can turn all this shit off because you're not using it anyway. But I don't think it really matters. I noticed this program does use a fair amount of uh, CPU. I say a fair amount. 3% is too much for me. But yeah. Uh, you should have the hang of it. Just uh, make sure you set like whatever you're using to play music out to the auxiliary input. You can use the other one. They're the fucking same thing. Just it's so you have two virtual. Uh, yeah. I hope you understand it. If you don't, just ask. All right.